Welcome to the SketchUp for Schools Ice Cream Shop tutorial. Let's start by naming our file and calling it Mike's Ice Cream Shop. Mike is the model on the screen, so that's why we choose that name. Click OK and it asks you what folder you want to put it in. We put it in our SketchUp Models folder, which is created automatically for us when you first launch SketchUp for Schools. All of these are stored in our Google Drive. Mike's job is to give us a sense of the size of the objects we draw on our model. We're going to click select right now though, and we're going to press the delete key to remove him from our screen. Notice that when we make a change, it says, hey, you need to save. So it always keeps us alert that we need to save these projects that end up in our Google Drive. Let's start building by moving over to the toolbar and clicking on the rectangle tool. SketchUp is a click and release program, so you click and let go, and then click the tool you want to use. Notice there are so many cool options. We are going to use the rectangle, and then from the origin, notice it shows you the origin. I want you to click and let go so that the tool is adjustable, and then type on your keyboard 30 with the foot symbol, and then type comma, and type 20 with the foot symbol. Notice that it shows up down in the dimensions box, and when you press enter, you are rewarded with a box that is 30 feet by 20 feet. Let's change this flat shape into a three-dimensional shape by using the push-pull tool. Click push-pull, click the center of the shape and lift it up, but let go of the mouse button, and then type 10 with the foot symbol for how large you want that to be. Let's give our ice cream shop a little pizzazz by using the orbit tool to drag the mouse so we're looking underneath, switch to the amazing offset tool, click that face and extend it past our original shape, type the number 3 with the inch symbol and press enter. So it gives us a 3 inch offset. Find your orbit tool again, drag downwards so that you can see that new offset switch to the push-pull tool and we want to and I'm gonna scroll in so we can see this better click on that face and lift it up typing 2 with the foot symbol so it snaps to exactly 2 feet tall use the orbit tool to look at the top scroll out so you can see it a little better click the offset tool and click the face and then with it adjustable, go past the original shape and type your three inches again. Switch to your push-pull tool. Click on that newly made offset. And we need to make it two feet tall as well by typing two feet and pressing enter. It's important to note that SketchUp for Schools does not have an autosave. So let's click save at this time before moving on and stay aware of that red save button. Use the orbit tool to spin your mulch up around so you can see the front and are looking down at your offset. Switch to the rectangle tool and then with the rectangle tool find the cyan midpoint. Move the mouse to the back edge of that wall and type 3 feet comma 3 inches and press enter. Repeat that process in the opposite direction also typing 3 feet with the foot symbol and then a comma and then three inches and pressing enter. Let's bring the erase tool into play and let's eliminate that box. Notice we have now made a six foot entryway. Let's clear out that entryway with the push pull tool. If you bring this down and touch the edge point, it cuts out all those instantly. And then let's use the eraser again to erase that line that was going through. Since our entry is completed, let's click that save button. Let's add an awesome door to our entryway. First, let's use the orbit tool so that we're looking at our store from below. This helps us find the midpoint in a moment. Click on the components choice and type SketchUp for school's door, making sure you do a capital U for SketchUp, and that will give you the awesome door for our ice cream shop. When you click, it'll bring it in. 
and if you go to the midpoint of our entry, you can immediately snap it into location. With that completed, let's click save and then move on. Let's add some amazing windows to our project. Our first step has us clicking the tape measure tool. Click on the tape measure and click on the edge of our building and type two feet. So it gives us a two foot guideline. Do that exact same step from the other side, doing two feet as well, and then go in between the door and the trim and make a three foot high guideline. With those guidelines in place, switch to the rectangle tool Click on the intersection and make a 8 foot by 4 foot rectangle that'll be our window. Do the exact same thing on the other side, typing 8 feet comma 4 feet and pressing enter when you're done. Switch to the eraser tool and remove those guidelines so they are out of our way. With that completed, switch to the amazing offset tool. Click on the edge of our item and type 3 inches to create a 3 inch offset. Do the exact same thing on the other side. And then switch to the push pull tool and with the push pull tool pull that trim out 3 inches. Typing 3 inches and pressing enter. Congratulations on making epic windows. At this point hit save and let's move on to awnings. Let's add some amazing awnings to our ice cream shop. Start by using the tape measure, moving to the edge of the wall, and coming in one foot by typing one foot and pressing enter. Do the same thing from the other side. From the midpoint between the door and the trim, make sure you're on the blue axis, type seven feet and press enter as well. This creates a nifty little intersection for us to make a rectangle from, and we want to make a 10 foot by 2 foot rectangle, and press enter. With the select tool, double click our newly created awning and make it a component naming it awning. Then click on the glue to horizontal choice and click on OK. Switch to the move copy tool. Click on the right corner because we're going to connect it to this corner. Tap control to go to copy mode and snap it to that intersection. Switch to your eraser tool and let's erase those guidelines we created. Using the select tool, double click our new awning and use the push pull tool to pull it out three feet by typing three feet and pressing enter orbit so you can see it from the right side. Grab the two-point arc, click on the top corner, the bottom corner, and type six inches so it creates a six-inch arc. Choose the push-pull tool and push it all the way across, touching the little red point to the end point to complete our shape. Switch to the select tool and click anywhere out in space to close our component we're only halfway through our awnings, but let's hit save just because it's a good practice to get into. Switch to the pan tool and drag everything a bit to the right. Switch to the orbit tool and look below your project. Find the move tool and click on the bottom right hand corner of the left awning. Tap control, notice the plus sign, to go into copy mode and attach it to that edge of the building. Switch to the rotation tool and click on the first corner of our project and the last corner of our awning and then rotate it 90 degrees. If you move to the protractor with your mouse, it'll snap to the 90 degree mark. Switch to the orbit tool and drag so you can see your project from the top. With our awning selected, switch to the scale tool. The scale tool has handles and when you go from corner to corner and make it adjustable and then type 0.6 and press enter, it scales it to 60% of its original size. 
orbit around and take a look at how awesome your ice cream shop is turning out and then make sure you remember to click save before moving on. Double click the left awning to enter the edit mode. With the select tool, click the left arc, then click the move copy tool. Click on that arc again. Hit control to go into copy mode and move that arc to the other side. Click and then do divided by with the divided by key and press five and then press enter. And it will instantly slice all the awnings into five equal sections. Components are amazing this way because they make us so much more effective. Click on the materials and find the red color from the color choices and color every other piece of the awning red so that it becomes red and white. When you're done, click outside the box to close the editing of the component and then click Save. Now let's select a color from the materials to paint each wall of the shop. I'm going to paint mine a style of blue. Use the Orbit tool to move around your building and paint all of the walls of your ice cream shop. Make sure you orbit when you're finished to check and see that you got them all. Since we've made changes, let's click Save. Grab the Orbit tool and rotate around so you can see the left side of our building and the underside of our awning. Switch to the Tape Measure tool and click on the line under the awning and make a three foot line along the blue axis. Let's orbit so we're looking a little bit more from the side. Click on our components tool, type SketchUp for Schools Drive and press enter and you'll be treated to the SketchUp drive through window. Click it, bring it out on the face, click to set it down on that face, Grab the corner by zooming in and finding it, and then snap it to that guide point we made earlier. Notice it tells you you've reached the guide point by popping up the little window. Scroll back out, pat yourself on the back for being awesome, and click that save button. Use the orbit tool to switch so you can see your building from the top. Choose the rectangle tool and make a 30 foot by 2 foot rectangle by typing 30 foot comma 2 foot and press enter. Use the push pull tool to raise that up 6 feet and press enter. Orbit so you can see from the front and use the push pull tool again to pull the face out so it matches the face on the front of the building and both sides. Choose the eraser tool and erase those seams to make it a one piece design again. When you have that completed, let's click save so we never lose our work. Scroll out so you can get a big look at the world, click on the components, and then type in SketchUp for Schools Ice Cream and press enter. Scroll down and find the one that was created by SketchUp. Click and bring it out in the world and set it on the face of your shape. Orbit so you can get a better look at it from the side. Scroll in so you can see it better and then use your move tool to adjust it until you're totally happy. When you have it placed use orbit to move the world so you can see the back. Click the top of the pediment, switch to the line tool, find the midpoint 
and connect it across. Switch to the rectangle tool, click on one corner of the pediment, and stretch it out until you see it say that you just created a golden section. Do the same thing from the other side. I'm going to orbit around so I can see it better. And then go back to the rectangle and create another golden section. Use your orbit tool so that the world is more flat. Click the line with your select tool that is in the middle. Switch to the move tool and lift that line up from its midpoint four feet. By getting on the blue axis, typing four feet and pressing enter. Orbit so that you've got a look from the front or the front side. Switch to our old friend, the offset tool. And we want to make a 10 inch offset. When it's adjustable, type 10 and press enter. Use the push pull tool to push that offset so that it matches the face of the building. Then switch to the eraser to get rid of that line that appears. Navigate to materials and match the colors to the rest of your ice cream shop. With everything in place, let's make sure we click save so we don't lose our work. Let's make our trim on our malt shop look a little more fancy. Switch to the circle tool, click out towards the red axis and type one foot and press enter. Switch to the push pull tool and pull that up so it matches the height of the rest of our trim. Use the eraser tool to erase the lines. I'll zoom in so we can see those better and then repeat that process all the way around the building at all of the endpoints. When you've completed the trim all the way around the building, then switch to your materials and find the asphalt and concrete. Select a concrete color you appreciate and add it all the way around the building. Then take a step back to see how awesome your project looks, orbit from every side, and that practice of click and save is essential as well. Let's add a customer to our malt shop and put him over by the order window. Click the components box and in the search type SketchUp for Schools Mike and hit search. When you scroll down you will find Mike H by SketchUp. Click and bring him into your project and set him by the drive through window. Scroll in and adjust until you're happy. Let's switch to our materials. Let's wrap up the colors on our project by going to the materials, clicking on the browse tool, finding glass and mirrors. Pick one of the glass textures that you think will look great on your shop. I'm going to use the gray one. And then I'm going to click the select tool. I'm going to double click on my window component, go back to that gray glass texture, and I'm going to put that on both of those windows as well. I'm going to also add the red trim by revisiting the colors, choosing red, and making the door that awesome red. Remember when we click select and click outside of our component, it finalizes that component and we can take a step back look at our amazing malt shop and hit save once again. Now that you've got everything put together, use the awesome components and all the skills that you have learned to make this malt shop look just the way you'd like it. Thanks for following along in the tutorial. Make sure that you save your work and we hope these skills are useful as you keep sketch upping.